stand tall. You have this strong and confident man who is in shame of who he is, doesn't hesitate to stand tall and isn't afraid to get on stage. He's comfortable with who he is and he is confident in how people perceive him. But aside every other trait that might differentiate them, the second one for sure. When you stand tall, your project more power and confident. But wait, there is more. Standing tall will not only make you look more masculine and confident, it will also make you feel more masculine and confident immediately. Why is that? Because your posture has different impact on your testosterone level. The taller you stand, the more secure and powerful your body feels, which leads it to produce more testosterone. And as you probably know, your masculinity is closely tied to your testosterone levels. The higher T levels, the more masculine you feel, and the more masculine you look over time. 2. Take up more space. Occupying more space will make you look more powerful. If you have been wondering how to be more masculine physically without packing on a lot of muscle, this tip is for you. Between the guy who is afraid to take up some space, keeps his leg and his arm tidy across and prefer to appear the smallest as possible, and the guy who doesn't hesitate to take up space by adopting a wide stand and letting his chest and arm expand. Who do you think is going to appear more masculine? Who do you think is going to feel more powerful? If we take a look at how animals behave, the alpha male, usually the one who is the more masculine, is always the one who takes the more space. He knows he is the boss and feels free to make himself comfortable. 3. Look people in the eyes. Have you ever talked to someone who had shifty eyes? Probably. And to someone who looked you deep in the eyes when talking to you? Probably as well. What the difference did it make in, in the way you perceive this person? Right. The person who kept looking away didn't seem very confident. They didn't seem to believe in what they were telling you. They didn't look strong or powerful. Quit the contrary, in fact. And conversely, the person who looked you deep in the eye when talking to you seemed quite confident. They seemed quite strong and powerful, even intimidating. You can look away from time to time when your interlector is speaking, but when you are the one who is talking, make sure to plunge on your eyes into theirs. 4. Speak slower. You are probably noticed in movies or interviews that typical alpha male usually take the time to deliver their words. They are not in rush when they speak. They know they are going to listen to and thus they feel comfortable speaking slowly. You can feel their dominance character in the way they talk. As a result, they appear nervous. You can feel some stress in their voice. It even leads them to stutter. You can tell they are not in control. You can tell they feel insecure. It makes them look fragile and feminine, quite the contrary of what you want to look like. So, take your time when you speak, deliver your words with a calm and low voice with pose. 5. Stop being so reactive. How to be more masculine and confident? Don't react to everything you notice. Don't react to each and every perturbation in your environment. The strong masculine man, on the other hand, isn't that sensitive. He is tougher. 6. Relax your facial muscle. If your face is tense, you will appear tense. And if your face is relaxed, you will appear relaxed. People can tell a lot by your mental state and your solidity just by looking at your face. If you clench your jaw and open your eyes wide or frown, you will appear tense or in panic. You will be perceived as a guy who is not in control of the situation as helper or astounded. That isn't to say that you should never have a tense facial expression. It will naturally happen when you are in a fight or during some other kind of confrontation. But outside of scenarios like these, you should remain serene.